Who is it? Ah, right, yeah, go right here, Rod. Okay, now you see, she said that they came by order of the spiritual leadership. Uh huh. Right. Then she said we came back down the trail of tears. Uh -huh. This is a code. When she told him that. That mean everything, the Trail of Tears went through Atlanta. Atlanta was the gateway. Everything west of the Appalachians was conquered off the Louisiana Purchase. Uh -huh, Atlanta uh -huh. was the path, was the, was the major metropolis in the pathway. Uh -huh. So she re they came back down the Trail of Tears. Uh -huh. Right? And as they come back down the Trail of Tears, the same, this is what Big Mama told me, the same people that they sent in to do you dirt gonna be the same people gonna go in there and get your stuff. Go ahead. I'm with you. Right? Yep. So they used five dollar Indians to re try to re replace us. You can't replace us. We just sorted up can earth. Right? Right. Right? So what do we do? Adjust. This is not this is not um going to school on Monday through Friday class. Uh -huh. This is the master class on understanding. Uh, we was at war. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand we've been at war for 500 years, then you need to sit down until you figure out what's going on with your life. Exactly. All right. Now, in the war, the general rides up. Every general strategized ran into a brick wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me participate in the reindeer games. Mm -hmm. The games of the guys while they flying across the um, the ethers. They want to block me out. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, I sit on the sideline till y'all can't figure it out. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to tell you who did it, the Dirty Moors, how they did it, pretended to be us, mm -hmm. why they did it to replace us on the land, yeah. who told me they did it, uh, Noble Jew Ali, yeah. right? Who told me to do something about it? Marcus Garvey, Elijah Muhammad, Clarence 13X, Malachi Z. York, mm -hmm. Big Tukey, Chief Malik Angel Bay, Larry Hoover, right. um, um, the whole leadership of the Vice Lord Nation, they all said, tell us who did it, how they did it, and how you know. Yeah. That means I got it. I didn't just have, I just can't come in saying this. I got talking about, and that's what we've been doing. Yeah. Yaku Grafted Devil is about to get fricasseed. All right, push play. Okay, now she said contemporary. You know right. what that means? I looked it up, and well, I, I can get the etymology is different with the definition they gave. Um, mm -hmm. but temporary means she yeah, temporary to me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't not, no, no she not didn't say temporary. She it's said contemporary. contemporary. Contemporary, right? So, right. Like, so what that mean is they they are running in real time alongside the real Muscogee Creek Indians as their contemporaries. In law, this is called a collateral attack. We're gonna pull that definition up later on. But remember, in law, it's a collateral attack. Now remember. We, the, the leadership, the spiritual leadership sent them back down the trail the same way you came. You go tell the motherfuckers to get off the land. Yeah. Okay. Notice the agent is notice the principal. Once she put the Atlanta on notice, everything that came with the Louisiana purchase is effectively on notice to evacuate the artificial jurisdiction off the land. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. But here's the problem before we go any further. Our people been beat down so bad that when somebody tell us how to reclaim our stuff and we won't have no resistance, they don't know what they still froze. Yep, shit. Right? So we had to send somebody who uh, benefited from the white privilege of the free white persons in law. Okay. Right? So they would have the confidence to confront this devil in their face. That's right. Right. That makes sense. Okay. Now she brought up black people. Yeah. Go ahead. Those are the ones who was classified as the dead kings on the land. Remember, they declared there was no royalty because we left to go to the battlefield in Florida. Okay. Lewis and Clark, under the orders of Big B and Bay, declared that all of the castles was vacant on the path they took to Oregon. Yeah. And Washington State. When they come back from over there and they declare the land vacant, they said all of the kings was dead. Therefore, they assumed the position of black in law. Man, go ahead. They uh, they ascribed us black 
in these other terms to conceal the fact that we was already here and that if we realize who he is, we can give them the instruction to get the fuck off our land. This is what we're looking at in real time with this video. Man, this is going, you're going in, Rob. Go so ahead. now the the blacks then took over. On the chessboard, the great defenders, them black ones, them stealth priests that had to be re resurrected in the dark. Uh -huh. In they face behind they back the same way they did it when they murdered us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I had to tell the people how they got the chiefs off the land, COINTEL Pro. Exactly. Any one of us that had the right to reclaim the land was incapacitated with something called a judicial system. Right. Listen to the first syllable judicial system. Jude. Ju Judicial system. Yeah, we got we call it, we call it. Right. So they put their signature everywhere to make sure that when we hook this fish, we got this motherfucker hooked. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have never been into I and turned it into a J and told everybody that ISIS was Jesus. Yeah, right. <laughs> then the people wouldn't be so misled. Okay, you see she mentioned Andrew Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah. This is where Chief Warhorse to know why we sent them in there. The Andrew Jackson was one who initiated the worst part of the um, ethnic ethnic cleansing on paper. This okay. is what he was doing. He was the one who was declaring $5 Indians chiefs. Mm -hmm. But remember what Elijah Muhammad said. He read it out the Quran is this. They plan and the law plan and the law is the best of planners. Right. But what they don't know is a law was also female Alak that's right. Who they tried to switch her gender to confuse the people as to the matriarchs on the land. That's right. Go okay. Ahead. So if a lat is a female and she the best of planners, what's she going to do? She going to put a dog in every fight. Mm -hmm. She going to put some of them that's going to get dirty and some of them that's going to come out dirty. Right. But in yeah. the end, they can all going to bump straight. That's right. Go ahead. Because she know it's the say the saying is wisdom is justified of her children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who is wisdom? That's Sophia, if it's a female. Mm -hmm. It's Tahuti, if it's a male. Mm -hmm. Right? So she's telling them, the person whose dirt she's undoing, she named him by name, Andrew Jackson. Yeah. Right? Wow. So for the, for the students that's diligent, go back and do your Andrew Jackson research. Listen to the lectures of Chief Warhorse discussing Andrew Jackson and his race in his paper genocide of the people by switching us out. They the ones did it, but I'm gonna show you the contingency Big Mama put in place because you can't beat your enemy if you don't understand how he play his game. Mm -hmm. Once you know how he play his game, you put in a series of checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Our people still confused after it was clear how to organize your community to reclaim your city and get your FEMA funds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. They mm -hmm. still thinking that this is a, there's a government in place. They still think this um, Truman show. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. But remember, the trumped up charges charge Trump up. Yeah. Right. Let's get it. He said that they are using the very same escalated military tactics that they use in the Trail of Tears when they came. Mm -hmm. All right, the reason that's important is because this is what's being undone. Mm -hmm. Right? Our children know how to conduct themselves when they raised by our people. When mm -hmm. foreigners raise our children, they run wild. They act different. They don't perform right. They're always slightly off balance because nobody don't understand us the way we do. Mm -hmm. And they think we're supposed to live our life according to the um, the impressions that they've placed on society using a media in a superiority complex of free white persons in law. Mm -hmm. Right. They the only ones that they feel supposed to enjoy the wealth. So they had us in a long warlock. Mm -hmm. A warlock mean that you no money that you, you have to get the money off the battlefield. You can't get you can't go and expose family wealth to the war. So you lock the co coffers up until somebody know how to unlock them by bringing the war to an end. Hmm, hmm. 
right? So the Bible was a 400 year old, 400 year contract under what's called the law of um, um, Israel, mm -hmm. right? And it tell you in there that Jacob was usurping Esau. Esau is Adama, Adam, the ruddy red man, right? Just like Adam was the ruddy red man. So according to that, the original man, the Adama, is being usurped by the Yaakovin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's That didn't play the full thing, but that's enough. But the next thing that she said that's missing from this clip is she said, that the uh, um they were that the ceremonial Muskogee. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she did. I heard that part. I don't know if it's on this table, but I heard it. Right. That was at the end of this one. Uh it might be at the end of this one. In there that the people didn't know what she's saying. When she say our ancestors are buried here, yeah. We intricately linked to them in the soil. Hmm. That's why the, the, everything they did, the first thing they did was desecrate holy places. Mm. They reenacted by um, chopping off the mammary glands of the women under the pretense of breast cancer, snatching out their uterus for whatever frivolous excuse they can give. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we move into these people, the ceremonial Indians. Why are, why are they called that? Let's open up the uh, receipt folder, Elder. Let's talk about how they learn our dances. I want to look up first. Okay, I got you. Uh, <laughs> oh, you want to look it on the internet, you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, let's go to the internet then. Google. <laughs> They said, well, right, where did the five dollar Indians come from? What you I mean, they right telling now. us they telling us I'm I'm filling in the space while you dick pulling it up. Okay. Um type in um Rome versus Mongolia. So in these wars we about to pull up. You see this? Yeah. Okay, this is who the Romans was fighting for the majority of the life of Rome. Everybody they captured as slaves, they kept as pets. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Type in Rome, Rome versus Huns. This is the other group of Asians that they was fighting from which Attila the Hun came from. Mm -hmm. Right? And so this is your two distinctly different groups of Asians from Asia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, right. Rome versus Hindus. Put India in there. And these are the other people they was fighting. Okay, I see what's going on here. All right. They was trying to get sacred scrolls from India and they took slaves. Okay. Right. <clears throat> they was uh, trying to amass land and they fought stalemates with Huns and Mongols. Okay. Then Rome fell. Okay. All right. So now, before they get kicked out of Europe, right, they got to take their they, they, they servants going with them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they brought them over here as indentures. You cut out. Go ahead. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the indentures is the ones that the history book said they came over as indentures and as slaves, but they was never given the indentures their freedom. Right. So when they get over here and end up in our community, we got to do something about it. Um, that's not what I'm looking for right now. OK, what you want to what you want now? I want you to pull up the Asians. 
Okay, the pictures I sent you, the most the pictures I just sent you. Okay, I got you right here. Which right there. Okay, right there, sir. Okay, right. these were set up all over the country. Okay. Notice what it say in the title. Indian training school. Mm -hmm. Right? Indian, they're training somebody to be an Indian. <laughs> right? So a Muscogee uh, chief uh, called me and asked me about where did they come from? I'm going over it again. I sent her some of these. So look through the different pictures of the Indian school. This is one, black and white. This is a different school. See what it say, boarding school, native words. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if you can zoom in, but you need to see the face of the kids. Those are Asians. Those are Huns Mongolians. Look at them. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. They training nope. these people on how to be us. That's crazy. Right. Now, if you notice the way that they do our dances, they mechanical. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. Go to another picture. All right, let me try to do some bit. All right, there you go. This is in class. See if you can see their faces. The, 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 these is the Asians that was being taught how to be Indians. They was the one yes, that look. So look, they think we. They think we. We ain't smart enough. To know that they got us teaching somebody that's gonna replace us our shit. Bro, you got him, bro. Oh man, you got him, bro. He was this way. So we use what we call in dance school the step method. Pull up the feet. <clears throat> in the step method, you systematically um teach the uh um step by step how to do the dance. Right? You want me to go put you want me to put the feet right now, right? The feet. Uh, you, matter of fact, we can go through and look at it. They go to the feet. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. Okay. Bold Zoom up. in. See if you can see their faces. All agents. Look like they're Japanese and shit, man. It's crazy, bro. This is crazy. This is right. crazy, bro. Oh. But it's just, it is what it is, Elder. Damn. So now, when we freeze up, they ain't going to freeze up because they want to be part of the redemption of our people and putting us back in our ju in our jurisdictional seats. Right? Right. So they teach these people how to be us because we need ceremonial Indians to carry on the rituals of the organic native. Go ahead. On this land, our traditions are so strong, we feel like that if we don't keep certain rituals perpetually going on on the land, no matter what civilization come here, we disrespect the elders. The ones buried in the soil under our feet, we call them the ancestors. Right? Yeah. So we become one with the ancestors. So if we gonna get replaced and we want to be able to redeem, we gotta teach these people how to do these steps correctly to keep the tradition going as a ceremonial play out while we at war go ahead bro this is you just have it bro you going in so if you go to the steps let's go to the steps <clears throat> these are dance steps right when you do a whole uh dance to a whole song you come up all over the dance floor like that yeah yep. but when you training them you can't use this to train them right yeah let's look at another one Okay, hold up. Uh, he sent me another one. I know. Let's see. It's got to be up here somewhere, maybe. That might be the only one that I got. Bro, I thought you had sent two of them. Yeah, you probably didn't oh, say it. It was this one right here, bro. Here you go. This right here. You see? So this this is a two step. Okay. Right. So if you look at it, you, you start off bottom left, take one step forward. Right. Yeah. And then, um, then you step two steps forward. 
So th this is called a box step. This is how we taught them to do our dances, and that's why they look mechanical doing them because it's not in their blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you see us crip walking, when you see us uh, b walking, mm -hmm. when you see the Mexicans cholo walking, mm -hmm. that's in the blood. Go ahead. You can't Go ahead. get that out the blood. In in Detroit, we jit city. Footwork. Yep, that's right. Detroit. Right. Mm -hmm. in, in Chicago, we ball out. We ballroom ballers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But in New York, we break dances because when we break dance, we breaking something in order to get free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, break dancing began to simulate a combat for the gangs to stop killing themselves. Go ahead. Right. So at the very beginning of the movie Warriors, you remember that? No. At the beginning of Warriors. Uh, I don't know if you could pull it up on here. I don't know if it'll uh, copyright you. Uh, yeah, it's going to copyright me for sure. But, I can pull up, but at the beginning of the Warriors, cover up, though. at the beginning of the Warriors, the, one of the gang chiefs tell her talking to the rest of the gangs about how they run the street. Right? He's giving a, a, the same, he giving the chief crazy horse speech about unity. Right? right so, while they talking about unity, type Osiris behind that so they can see him with his hands up. They not showing him. Oh, I'm gonna do it. There you go. First picture. Yeah. Yeah, that's good enough. That one too. That's a better picture. Now this was the character that the warriors was accused of killing. Now they telling the story. Okay. Right? And in the story, the other little gang, the feisty gang chief killed him in order and blamed it on the warriors. Mm -hmm. So that everybody trying to kill the warriors now, all of the rest of the clans in the street is trying to kill the warriors. Mm -hmm. Right? And because Osiris was the chief that was to bring all of the clans together. Mm -hmm. Right? Wow. If you do a cursory research uh, of the origins of the gangster disciples and look at the clans that made up the gangster disciples, you're gonna find you're gonna find a lot of Native American clan names in there. This is us. Right, the same with a lot of the people all over the land. They, the, the people still in their tribes, but they under a different name. Right. Yeah, they all got. <clears> you know, they they, they so, no gangs. They all be having nicknames in the gangs. We all get nicknames. Mm -hmm. all spiritual names. That's that's your tribal name. We call yeah, them nicknames, but they're tribal names. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood nip. You know what I'm saying? They get that uh, big spook. See, King David, King of all kings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was a, he was a, he was the highest chief on the land till the police killed him. Wow, this dude right here, David Boxed. Yeah, yeah. 